T7M Radio brings to you the best of seven sports talk with seven, Mitchell. Yes, sir. You already know what time it is, my fellow sports fans and debaters. Welcome back to the best of seven sports talk here on T7M Radio. I am your host as always, the kid seven Mitchell. Appreciate y'all locking in with us, man. Recap and review time is going down. The NFL, we, we just started the NBA regular season this week. We got so much to talk about, so y'all already know how we give it up. 347-989-8102 is the number to dial in. If you want Facebook, make sure y'all join the T7M Radio Facebook debate group. We would love to have y'all up there chopping it up, debating 24-7. Also, make sure y'all subscribe to our YouTube channel, T7M Radio, on YouTube. We definitely appreciate it. Follow us on Twitter as well, T7M Radio. We definitely appreciate all the new subscriptions. All the new views, all the new opinions, man, we, we definitely salute to everybody for reaching out, showing support to the T7M Network. So, man, we're going to get right into it. Sergeant Mitchell, man, a shout-out to my co-host, J.O., who's not with us tonight, live streaming the show, you know, broadcasting tonight. It's going down, talking NFL, we're going to do what we're supposed to can to do. So call us again, 347-989-8102. Let's talk a little bit of NFL action. Quarterback, Blake Bortles said Tuesday that he's not really a fan of the mustard-colored uniforms that the Jacksonville Jaguars will be uh, wearing tonight on the road against the Tennessee Titans. The Jacksonville Jaguars will be entering going against the Tennessee, Tag- <clears throat> Tennessee Titans. It's going to be a good game. Prediction-wise, I love the offensive arsenal of Blake Bortles and Hearns and as well as the uh, Robinson at the wideouts. Um, the defense has been suspect. Running game can improve. But I'm not real convinced about Mariota and the Tennessee Titans. So I'm definitely going with Jacksonville over Tennessee tonight, Thursday night football, 8.25 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you're locked in. Let's do a dope game. My Baltimore Ravens, we done lost four in a row. I don't know what's going on. I can't call it, but we got a bye week. So... I hope we can kind of get some things together. Our offense is just not moving the way we're supposed to. I wish my, I'm glad my guy J.O. is not here because I know he would try to be so disrespectful and so rude trying to talk to me about how poorly my Ravens has been. Like his Green Bay Packers haven't been doing just as poorly. So it's all good. But I'm just looking at this upcoming match, this upcoming week. We're in week number eight of the NFL. Uh, marquee matchups, predictions for me. Um, I'm definitely going to have to start off with uh, New England Patriots going into Buffalo. Rex Ryan, Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, you know the rules, you know the drill. Um, Shady McCoy is a problem, I, you know, and I think if, if he can can kind of imitate what he's been doing the last two weeks, um, Brady is, you know, Brady is Brady, but, you know, Rex Ryan seems to have some type of, uh, they already beat, we already beat New England, so. You know, I know it wasn't without Brady, but I think that Buffalo, this is crazy. This is disrespectful and rude to New England. But I got the Bills sweeping New England this season. And they're going to do it with a win at home this upcoming Sunday against Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. I don't think overall the, the Buffalo Bills will go further um, down the road, especially in the postseason, than the Patriots. But I think they just set up to actually sweep the Patriots and this might actually haunt or really help the Bills later on in the regular season. They might need this game to actually get into the playoffs. We got Green Bay Packers, my co-host J.O. Green Bay Packers led by that bad man Aaron Rodgers. They're going into Atlanta, the Dirty Birds, to face Matt Ryan and Julio Jones, Atlanta Falcons. Um, to me, it's really not for debate. Not enough weapons for Aaron Rodgers. Uh, his weapons that he do have. Right now, to me, Aaron Rodgers could go through the airport and TSA would let him through with the weapons that he has. So he's not a threat at all. I do think that uh, Matt Ryan and him will put up some big numbers. And I think they're going to really shut down Green Bay's offense. It's not just going to be a, a, a shootout. So I'm going with the Atlanta Falcons to kind of blow out the Green Bay Packers at home. We got the Philadelphia Eagles. Going into Jerry's world to face the Dallas Cowboys. Let's talk America's team. Now the million dollar question is Dak Prescott. Will he be the starting quarterback for the remainder of the season? We are approaching the trading deadline in the NFL. It's coming up in the next few days. 
So I wonder, I wonder if Jerry Jones would go out on the limb before the weekend is out and somehow, some way trade Tony Romo. Uh, J.O., my co-host, said that he, he would like to see Tony Romo uh, be in the Jets. He think being with the New York Jets would be a good look for Romo if there was a trade or if Romo did not make it back next year with the Dallas Cowboys. Watching Undisputed Today, Skip Bayless mimicked the same intimate sentiments. He felt like possibly Tony Romo could be a splash for the headlines in New York going to the Jets. Um, as far as this game prediction-wise, Dallas at home against Philadelphia. Dallas, uh, resume-wise, they have not really, track record has not played well at home um, these last couple years. But it's a new day, it's a new era as long as they keep the Dak uh, Prescott um, element in the play. I did tell y'all it's going to be some type of friction. There is going to be some separation in this locker room when it comes to the offense. I mean, people are going to start to pick and choose who they want, Tony Romo or Dak Prescott. Um, and, you know, right now, Dak is running that offense. I'm not sure what Dez feel about this, but I told Joyo at the beginning of the season, I feel like Dez is going to have a say. Um, maybe not the final say, but, you know, Dez is not going to keep quiet when it comes to who he wants. Uh, so that's going to be definitely interesting to play out. AFC West matchup, Denver Broncos at home facing the San Diego Chargers. Denver offense, I mean, the quarterback, the young quarterback, I mean, he's real impressive to be. I cannot really believe Denver's in the situation that they are. Losing Peyton Manning and then, you know, having to have Mark Sanchez under realm and then a rookie quarterback and then getting rid of Mark Sanchez, just questionable, you know, quarterback play. But then the defense from the jump against Carolina, first game of the season, man, they was just on point. So, you know, Denver is definitely surprising me, and I think they're going to continue to have a success this week uh, against the San Diego Chargers and Phillip Rivers. Uh, Melvin Gordon is playing exceptionally well. But I just don't think it's going to be enough against that Denver defense. If he is able to perform, he may be the only thing on the offense of San Diego for Phillip, uh, for the Chargers. Um, so I definitely feel like we got that. When we come back, man, we're going to talk some NBA action, man. Here on the Best of Seven Sports Talk, T7 and Radio with Seven Mitchell. We just started the NBA season. So y'all do not go nowhere. We are locked here T7 and Radio. Best of Seven. Best of Seven Sports Talk. With Seven Mitchell on T7M Radio every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 347-989-8102. And follow us on social media, T7M Radio on YouTube. This is the best of seven sports talk, T7M Radio with Seven Mitchell. Call as y'all call up, 347-989-8102. Let's talk. NBA action and my super team, New York Knicks. Looking at the first game of the NBA season, the New York Knicks came up way short to LeBron James' ring ceremony in the Cleveland Cavaliers. Salute to the King and the Cavaliers getting their rings, um, but this is definitely about my New York Knicks. I've just had so many questions for my team from the gate. Melo doesn't have enough. D. Rose. Didn't get J.R. Smith, Courtney Lee, come on. I mean, we have Joe Key Noah, who's too aggressive. Playing 18 feet out every time we bring the fucking ball up. We got Joe Key Noah playing 18 feet. It just makes no sense. I don't know what Phil Jackson doing. Clearly, he shows no love to New York. I wish he shipped himself back out to L.A. Jeff Hornacek has no resume as a coach to me. So, I, you know, it's just... Mediocrity, man, all across the board, and my hopes were so high for the New York Knicks and Melo. Um, but, you know, we definitely going to have to make some readjustments. Like, this team that we have, this nucleus that we are playing with now, cannot be the same team after the All-Star break. I know we only won two games into the regular season, but you can just see, man, competitive-wise, we just cannot compete. And we are in the Eastern Conference. We are in the Eastern Conference. I can see us having a fight for AC. I mean, it really makes no sense after bringing on D-Rose and bringing on Joe King Noah. Why would we not, you know, in other pieces, Brandon Jenner, but, you know, and, and, and he's another one that gives me cause to pause because he doesn't seem like a team player. He's too fast for his own fucking good. So I'm pissed off at my New York Knicks, and I hope we can get it together. I'm flipping over to the Western Conference, your Golden State Warriors. Kevin Durant and crew lost the first game of the season, and they lost it handily to the San Antonio Spurs with no Tim Duncan. Pretty crazy. Figure the chemistry will have to um, give it a time for the 
Golden State Warriors to gel under the rant. But I'm not surprised, you know, Popovich is one of the best coaches in the NBA history. And, you know, sometimes, just like Bill Belichick in the NFL, you know, you might got a, a recipe to, to beat every team in the NBA if you pop. It's just all about execution, no matter who you actually have on the floor. So, um, definitely not surprised to see Golden State lose in the first game of the season. I think later on they will get better more than before they get worse. Um, but that's pretty much it, man. Tonight, NBA action. We got the Atlanta Hawks versus the Washington Wizards. We got Boston Celtics and Chicago Bulls. D-Wade, it's going to be a good game. Um, Boston is somebody to look out for. Matter of fact, in my 2K, um, playing 2K, I just got drafted to the Boston Celtics and we want to know. So I'm going with the Celtics to beat the Chicago Bulls tonight. TNT 830, make sure y'all check that out if y'all flip it back and forth from NFL and NBA. Also tonight we got the San Antonio Spurs, 1-0 against the Sacramento Kings, also undefeated 1-0. And then we got the Los Angeles Clippers playing their first game of the season, Lob City versus Damon Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. So there you have it. Scheduled NBA, NFL, low predictions. This was 7 Mitchell, T7M, Best of 7 Sports Talk. Appreciate y'all locking in with me, man. Real rapid fire podcast show I wanted to do. Just wanted to chop it up with y'all before the weekend was out. You know, we got so many games, so much um, to talk about in the realm of sports. Uh, me and my co-host, JL, will be back for a full show uh, pretty soon. So make sure y'all stay in tune. And again, if y'all on Facebook, Join the T7M Radio Facebook debate group. Subscribe as well to the T7M Radio YouTube channel. We definitely appreciate all the new subscriptions, all the new support. Uh, and we definitely show love. And because we love this thing, we love world, world of sports. So y'all be safe, man. It's 7 Mitchell, best of 7 sports talk. We're now rocking with the best. And this is how we give it up when it comes to sports talk and debate. Y'all stay safe, man. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We are locked at 6 p.m. Eastern. Make sure y'all join us. 347-989-8102. Y'all stay safe, man. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the NFL tonight, man. Peace. Best of 7 Sports Talk with 7 Mitchell on T7M Radio every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern. 347-989-8102. And follow us on social media. T7M Radio on YouTube.